Hello and welcome to Minding the Mindset. My guest today, all the way from Turkey, is Gulnar. Welcome, Gulnar. Hello, uh, I'm Gulnar. Thank you for inviting me. It is so wonderful to have someone all across. How is everything in Turkey right now? You you also in lockdown? Everybody at home? Yes, exactly. Uh, it's the same situation as uh, in the whole world. And actually, uh, like I'm from Azerbaijan, but I'm studying in Turkey in uh, Trabzon. And uh, I couldn't go to my country uh, okay. because of uh, because borders are closed. Um, and yeah, I'm here and staying at home, just okay. in quarantine and just not going out. So, so you're missing Azerbaijan now. You're missing miss, missing everything around from home. Your family is missing you. Actually, yes, uh, I miss my family, but it's okay. I'm used to it because, um, like, it's my fifth year in Turkey. Like, okay. far, far away from my family, and uh, yes, it's normal for me actually. Okay. So now you are half the, Turkish the only. Is, oh, I don't know. Uh, Turkey and Azerbaijan are they're like brother countries, and uh, they're so okay. close cultures and language also so yeah i'm yeah. not feeling strange here okay. actually i've never uh, oh, felt wonderful. strange here right. yeah. this is good. so what are you studying in turkey and which city are you in i'm in trabzon it's the north uh, east part of turkey it's really beautiful city i'm in love with it, with this city i can say and i'm studying international relations Wow, international relationship. This is yes. wonderful. Tell me more about the studies. What what careers are there in and what will you do? Say hello, come here. Okay. Actually, hello. One. Another one, come here quickly. So, so we'll just take a little pause. There's a younger one, Zainab, that's Dueria. Zainab and? Dueria. Dueria. I don't know if I can uh, pronounce yeah. it right. And that's my that. eldest. I've got three daughters. That's Sophia. So, Sophia, hello. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, girls. Right. So, so tell me more. I'm excited to see you. What's happening in the lockdown with you? Are you reading a lot? Binge watching Netflix? What are you doing? Actually, I'm. I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. Firstly, we have like in my department, we're reading a lot, so okay. that's a bit boring sometimes because okay. uh, you know reading so. Um, in books and everything uh, but now in quarantine I'm trying to um, improve myself in like I'm trying to improve my skills uh, you know I, I've always been so busy uh, with the work and with study and also I'm working for organization ISEC I don't know yes uh, I'm aware of know. ISEC yes absolutely yes I'm working for ISEC and now um, I have time to do another things that I've always wanted to do. Uh, actually, one of them uh, is yoga. I Ooh, started to nice. do some yoga, and it's really relaxing. It's really amazing, I think. And really? you yeah, should come I'm, to India now for more yoga practice. Yeah, actually, the beginning of the year, I was um, uh, planning to come to India with okay. the GT project, Global Talent Project, but I couldn't couldn't do it, couldn't uh, uh, couldn't do that because of the current situation. Yes, yes. And but I'm like, uh, it's one of my plans. Uh, okay. I really like, and uh, I will I will come someday. <laughs> Wonderful. You're welcome to Mumbai. Yes, after the lockdown. Tell me something else, Gulnar, uh, with regards to your, your person. Are you a morning person or a night owl? So what do you do? Just... I'm not definitely a night, uh, like, night person. I'm really uh, good with the, like morning. Um, okay. um, I really love uh, getting up early. Like actually, <laughs> uh, now yeah. I'm trying Yes. No, go ahead. I work with the SDGs and one of the SDG goal number five is gender equality. And when I see, you know, I, I have my girls with me, my little daughters, I'm feeling so proud when you are, you know, a strong girl staying away in a new country. Give me one advice for the young girls who are watching you. 
Uh, I can give, um, you know, actually my family um, is also protective, mm -hmm. okay. uh, conservative, and like I was always fighting them. Uh, when I when I was doing like uh, when I wanted to go to abroad, like okay. I, I don't mean Turkey to go another uh, project in Egypt. I I went to Egypt with mm -hmm. Isaac project, and uh, when I go there, I actually I was actually fighting with my father, mm -hmm. and uh, just. Um, you should believe actually you should dream and you should believe and you can do it you can do it everything if you can believe it uh you can do it okay. the so word uh, you know i like the sentence i, yes, I like the power of dreams that so. you're saying about yes so tell me someone uh, if i were to ask you to you know just just find out two women in the world who you admire or anybody in the world you admire who would that be i don't know the woman I, I I don't I don't know um, maybe maybe it would be my mom. Okay, so I think this recording has to go to your mom. My mom is also independent and okay. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. um always uh like I want to be my be like my mom because wow. she's always uh also uh is independent and she really uh she's really doing what she wanted to do. Okay, like that's that's nice all right and and my daughter is crazy about this new series from turkey the earth room the resurrection are you aware of it uh yeah 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 uh you know i'm in uh igv department incoming uh -huh, okay. global volunteer in isec yes. so i'm uh taking the interviews of the uh eps exchange participants okay all and right they really like turkey they really like turkey actually after that I got aware of that. The okay. Turkey is really beautiful. I knew the Turkey is very beautiful, but I didn't know that people are like crazy about Turkey. What then? What, who, what else do you do? But uh, actually, don't laugh at me. But I just um, I finished to watch uh, How I Met Your Mother. Oh, okay, that's a whole season. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that was really nice. That was really because I I oh. I've never had time to watch so much movies or series not in normal time because I'm working also and going to the university and Isaac stuff. So they're so busy. And actually, I'm coming at home. Um, yeah. Question to you, or rather two questions. One is serious one. How is the education system in Turkey and maybe Azerbaijan? How are the schools and what do you see the future of schools after the pandemic? Uh-huh. Okay. So comparing with Turkey, uh, you know, with Azerbaijan, the system is a bit different. Uh, Azerbaijan, in Azerbaijan, uh, education system is different because of uh, Soviet Union. You know, okay. Azerbaijan yes. is former Soviet Union country, one of the yes. Soviet Union Correct. countries. Correct. And that's why, that's why it's a bit uh, different. In Turkey, actually, people are... Uh, so curious about sports mm -hmm. in Azerbaijan also, but Turkey, it's like More most of the people sports. like like doing sports. But in Azerbaijan, uh, people are curious about doing some art. I mean, okay. dancing, yeah, like playing some instruments or I don't know, music, theaters, everything. Wow. But and Thor and Wonder Woman. Aha! Uh -huh. Actually, yeah, I've just. Uh, heard about the uh, the name of names of them. Okay, okay. So you've not seen them. <laughs> actually, I think I think it would be Wonder Woman. Because okay. you know Gal Gadot. Some of my friends now I got oh, so okay. I got uh, a bit fat because of quarantine because I'm eating a bit much. <laughs> uh, and but when I was uh, skinnier than than this yes. yeah like my some some of my friends uh used to tell me like you're looking like gal gadot oh so then you like, the woman yes yeah yeah so i i i would be wonder woman oh that's wonderful thank you so much gulnar for being with us for telling us so many things about both the countries and the culture it was so wonderful talking to you god bless you thank you thank you so much thank you thank you